Okay, video is a go. Let's see what we can do here. Cool. All right, so total surface area. Again, this is just the extension or the continuation from yesterday, which was lateral surface area. And now we're going to be talking about the bases as well as the size. So first of all, we're going to determine if we are given a radius or diameter. We're going to determine if we're given a radius or a diameter. Again, radius is going to be halfway across the circle. Diameter is going to be all the way across the circle. Is everybody okay with that? If we are given the diameter, we need to divide by 2. If we are given the diameter, we need to divide by 2. So far, nothing's changed. What's up? Um, yesterday, you said if you were given radius, we would divide by 2 or uh, multiply by 2. So, how would we do that if the diameter we divide by 2? I don't believe for this notes part I said you multiply your radius no, by two. It's not this one, but the, uh, yesterday's one. You because said if you, you divide your diameter by two, then you're getting your radius. If you multiply your radius by two, then you're getting your diameter. So what would you use to find the answer? Well, implying that I'm telling you to divide your diameter by two. So we would use radius. Correct. Okay. Then we're going to identify the height of the figure which again is the distance between my two bases. Now, right here, this is the formula that we used yesterday. Can anybody explain to me the second one? Two pi r squared. What is that, Josh? Uh, radius squared. I agree, but what is it though? What does that represent? Two pi radius squared is what? Two. Yeah, you're just reading me what the formula is. I want to know what does that formula represent? What did you say, Nathan? The, the area of the base. Yeah, it's the area of the base. So right here, this is our lateral surface area of the cylinder. This is finding the area of the base, and then we're multiplying it by 2. Why am I multiplying it by 2? Because there's two bases. There's a cylinder on top and a cylinder on the bottom. Our answers are always going to be in units squared. Somebody that can see the iPad, am I still good on the screen like you can see everything? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, so first of all, what is the base of this cylinder? What shape is it? A circle. A circle. Okay. How do we find the area of a circle? You might remember the formula for finding the area of a circle? Pi times r squared. Very good. Pi r squared. So if my base has a radius of 4, then the area is going to be pi times 4 squared. Can you guys figure out what the area of the base is for me? I think what you get? Let's see, we're going to do 3.14 uh, times 16, and I got 50.24. So again, that's going to be pi times 16, and that gives me 50.24. I think you're good with that. You see how I got that? No? My 
guess would be that on your button you hit the buy button instead of typing in 3.14, which isn't a bad thing. But what ends up happening though is since I type in 3.14, I'm rounding pi down. If you hit the pi button, notice that it makes your pi go further into the decimal. So it's just changing up your rounding ever so slightly. Oh. So that's why sometimes we're off a little bit, but I'm not going to mark those ones wrong. I'll give you full credit for that close. Yeah, I just popped in. I just searched up verbal calculator on Google and just popped it in. And I popped it in. That's why, yeah, because it's using a longer version of pi. Okay, can we find the perimeter of a circle? circumference a good bit yesterday. The formula is pi 2 pi r. 2 times pi times the radius of 4. Can you guys go ahead and calculate that one out for me? 2 pi r or 2 pi 4. Twenty five twelve, I agree. Okay. Now I want to know what is the height of the figure? What is the distance between my two circle bases? Read what did you get? Fifteen. Fifteen? Does anybody remember the formula for finding the surface area of this figure? What's the formula? It literally says it on this page. You can still see it on my screen. Josh, what is it? 2 pi, no, yeah, 2 pi r h. Okay. Part of it. Oh, oh two plus pi r 2 pi r squared. Okay, very good. So now we're going to fill it all in. So we're going to have 2 times pi, which is 3.14, times my radius, which is what? 4 times my height, which is 15. Okay. Then we're going to add that to 2 times 3.14 times 4 squared. Is everybody good there? 2 times 3.14? Yes, sir. First of all, let's find the lateral. So 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 15. I got 376.8. Then let's find our basis. 2 times 3.14 times 16 gives me 100.48. Now what do I have to do with those two numbers? Add them together. 477.28. What do you think about that? Anything that doesn't make sense on that? Anything we're slightly confused on? Okay. Okay, let's do one more. Alright, got another cylinder. Very, very similar process. Very similar. What's my base going to be? Uh, what shape? Purple. Radius of? Four. Okay. Um, can anybody tell me what the area of that base is? The area of the base. I just want to know the single area of the base. Might be. Why would it be the same? Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. How about the circumference of that base? Things going to be the same as well? Yeah. 25.12. Okay. What's the height of my figure? Nine. Nine. Good. All right, so now let's break down the formula. Do we agree? that this 2 pi r is the same thing as the area of my base right here? Yeah. 
Do we agree that this pi r squared is the same thing as my, I'm sorry, 2 pi r is my circumference, and the pi r squared is the same thing as the area? So like I'm doing all the steps leading up to this, and the only reason I have to multiply it by 2 is because I have two separate bases. That's it. So what I'm going to do now is I want to take my area of the base, multiply it by 2, take my perimeter of the base, multiply it by 2, then multiply it by 9. So again, if we fill in these problems, it should look something like this. 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 9. Everybody okay with that? Plus 2 times 3.14 times 4 squared, and then we'll add those together. Let me get it so we can check ours. Okay, I have my answer too. Okay, I got two answers, three answers. I'd like to get a few more people. I like it up to about eight people that answered. About four so far, and four more. Seven, eight, perfect. Uh, Samuel, what'd you get? Three twenty-six point five six. Yeah, I agree. Three twenty-six point five six. Addison, what'd you got? Uh, yeah. Isaac, Kendall, mm -hmm. Kaden. It's pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. Addison, what'd you got? Uh, I got one that was six off, but I think that's probably just a calculation on my part. Six digits off, or six like tenths <laughs> off, hundredths off? Uh, six digits off. Okay. I got three twenty. Yeah, we probably just goofed up some of your quotes, so I think you're on the right track with that, okay? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into our next page, and this is going to be where we actually put it all together. Try to get away from the, like, step-by-step -step piece. Now, you saw these pictures yesterday, but this time we're looking at them from a total surface area, not just a lateral. So here's your formula. It's 2 pi rh plus... Um, to pi r squared, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, solve number four for me. Solve number four for me. I'm giving you all the pieces you need. All you gotta do is solve it. Mm -hmm. 